hello everyone welcome back so in this video what i will do i will uh doing the trend trend split okay of our data because before uh, passing this data to my model i need to make training set uh, separate okay testing set uh, or validation set uh, separate okay but and i and i also need to like convert this raw images to numpy array format okay so for that uh, what i need to do i need to write one function here so guys uh, this is the function i have prepared so the function name is like load image training okay so what so guys uh, what this function will do actually uh, it will uh, like uh, take this uh, path track path okay and your like data frame this one okay and it will return uh, like the image location like see uh, what is this image okay if i show you it is inside track slash image okay and what is what is the string angle this is the string angle okay so what it will do it will take every images okay it will take every images it will return the uh, image path okay and with respect to that it will also return the starting angle because later on whenever i will be converting my image to numpy array okay uh, image uh, I, whenever i will be co converting my image to like you can say matrix okay at the time i need this path okay i need this path if i just copy the path let me show you just if i copy the path and if i now paste it here okay so this is my path so let's remove this content because content is like our default path okay now this is your entire image path okay so this image path i need to return okay whenever i want to read these images okay so that's why this uh, load uh, image straining what it will return it will return your image path and it will return the straining angle okay like this is this is like one image and what was the straining angle of that image okay what it will get it will get from your data frame okay so this thing actually it will do now let's execute and try to test it so I'll, what i will do i'll just remove so first of all i need to execute this function now guys if I now uh, call my this uh, um, okay uh, now if I call this method okay this function now here I'm providing my data path okay and I'm also pro uh, like providing my data now it will return your image path and strings okay now if I execute okay it's done now if I show you okay so this is the image path it will return It will return as like uh, array, okay, numpy array. See all the image path with corresponding their starting angle. Okay, see this is the starting angle. Okay, suppose if you just check the length, you can also do it. Okay, now here also if you just check the length. See guys, both are same because it will return the image path with respect to the string angle, okay? Now, I have that. Now, what I will do, I will do the trend test split, okay, of my data. So guys, here I'm calling this trend test split from scalarn. I think you know this already. So here I'm providing my data path and string, okay? And 20% data I'm keeping for my validation and 80% I'm keeping as my training, okay? Now, this is the code. Now, it will... Uh, print like uh, the uh, you can say shape okay of my training example and validation example now let's execute okay see the, uh, like uh, 300 uh, 3511 okay data i'm keeping uh, for my training and validation i'm keeping only uh, 878 okay so that many of example i have kept now if you also want to plot the distribution of your training and validation data set okay so you can also do it because see uh, your validation data should be similar to your training like you can say uh, data okay if i plot it as a uh, you can say a distribution okay these two distribution should be matched together okay otherwise your if your validation distribution is like uh, getting different okay at that time your data is changing okay so it should not it should not be like that so you need to make sure your training and validation distribution are matching okay so to plot the distribution so this is the code so here basically it will uh, plot the histogram okay now if i execute so basically it will first of all uh, like plot your training set okay which is nothing but this training set and it will also plot your testing set okay now here if you see and it is nothing but your this one if i show you your uh, white end means your starting angle okay so here if you see these two distribution are same okay almost same if you see some something i think you will get different but almost same i can talk about okay here if you see it is also normally distribution uh, distributed it is it is also normally distributed okay so i think yeah my data is fine uh, we have perfectly like uh, did the trend test split okay so in the next video what i need to do uh i need to apply uh, some of the augmentation okay on my data because 
if you apply augmentation okay if you apply augmentation technique in your data if you just increase your data applying augmentation so your model can learn in a better way okay augmentation likewise you can do some zooming operation you can change the brightness of your data okay that's how actually you can perform many things okay i think you are already familiar with the augmentation technique okay in the field of computer vision so yes guys this was all about from this video i think you got it okay so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time